Hi, I'm Dr. Alna Rudolph, and I would like to welcome you to this talk on Candida Infections, or thrush, as it's often referred to. I'm a medical doctor working exclusively in the field of sexual medicine and the clinical head of my sexual health. I thank Femagene, female hygiene products, for sponsoring this educational video. Candida is a fungal infection in the body. There are many species of Candida, but the most common one is called Candida albicans, and it usually occurs in small amounts in the body. When it overgrows, it causes the infection called candidiasis and can affect many parts of the body, including the mouth, throat, esophagus or food pipe, and the vagina, bladder or penis. It is extremely common among people from all walks of life, but even more common in people who suffer from HIV, diabetes and other conditions where they have weak immune systems. A vaginal infection with Candida albicans is sometimes referred to as thrushed or a yeast infection. Three out of four women will have this infection at least once, if not more, in their lifetimes. It is normal to have some candida present in the vaginal canal. However, an overgrowth of candida can cause symptomatic yeast infection. So how does the infection occur? The normal vaginal canal requires a very carefully regulated pH or acid balance and the presence of healthy bacteria. The presence of good bacteria helps to keep the growth of candida under control. Many factors can cause the candida to overgrow and cause an infection. These factors include antibiotic use, stress, fragrance toiletries and steroid use amongst many others. Many women douche the vagina and this can contribute to thrush as it removes the healthy bacteria from the vagina and changes the pH within the vagina. The symptoms of thrush are itching of the vulva, vaginal discharge that look a bit like cottage cheese, burning or pain on urination and burning or pain during sex. Some treatments for thrush are available over the counter without prescription. These are usually vaginal creams and tablets which are placed into the vagina. Just ask your pharmacist for treatment for thrush if you suspect that you have it. Your doctor might also prescribe a tablet, usually fluconazole, which is an antifungal and works against the candida albicans. Candida can also affect the penis. It usually affects the head of the penis and causes redness as well as burning or pain during urination and sex and an itchy rash. It is not very common in men and they usually only get it if they have a weak immune system. If you get diagnosed with thrush, it is usually not necessary to treat your partner unless he or she has symptoms. What can be done to prevent candida infections? Avoid using perfumed and fragrant soaps in and around the genitals. Rather use a product like Femagene that has the right pH and will not irritate the skin to make it more vulnerable to infection. It also has the right pH so that it does not kill off the good bacteria that keeps the candida at bay. Avoid vaginal douching at all costs. Douching does not help clean out the infection. It only makes it worse by washing out all the good bacteria. You might want to use a probiotic like Vagiforte to put back the good bacteria in your vagina again. You might want to use condoms for a while to prevent the spread of the infection to your partner, although it is not very common. Although the thrush can be spread via sex, it is not a sexually transmitted infection, meaning that it can occur without sexual intercourse and you most likely did not pick it up from your partner. Although thrush can be treated with over-the-counter medications, it is advised that you consult your doctor if you get it repeatedly. If you get repeated infections, a sample should be taken to send to the laboratory to check if it is in fact Candida albicans. We see more and more Candida glabrata and other strange strains of Candida these days. Those infections cannot be treated with a normal Candida medication. Some patients have to remain on special diets or use suppressive therapy to keep the Candida at bay. Make sure you consult a doctor who is an expert in this if you struggle with recurrent Candida infections. Thanks again for listening. I'm Dr. Alna Rudolph from My Sexual Health and I thank Femagene again for their sponsorship of this video.